Joel Stryker uh, here at the Epic Win uh, book release party. Um, I've been asked to talk a little bit about 4chan as a model for social media. And I think that there's two things to consider. Uh, one is that everyone's anonymous on 4chan, so that's something that really uh, has an uh, impact on the way that the conversation develops on the site. And most social networks enforce some kind of username, at least a pseudonym, if not a real name, like Google Plus has been doing. Um, so I think that uh, the, the sacrifices that you make for having a username is that people are going to be less risky about the content that they post, and that's for better or for worse, right? Because people will be more free to post stuff that's wildly creative, but they'll also be more free to post stuff that's wildly destructive if they're anonymous. Um, and the other thing is uh, this idea that the content is, when you're anonymous, like on 4chan, um, it's coming from a place where content is king, right? So it's a, almost a pure meritocracy. Uh, content, it's not, the important thing isn't who's saying it, it's, it's what's actually being said. So in those terms, I think that 4chan has a lot to speak about internet community, and I think that other social networks can try to learn from that. I also think that the collaborative creative aspects of 4chan are something that other social networks can try to replicate, where you have people sort of piggybacking off of each other's creative output. Um, the, the book, we're here for the book. It's yeah. coming out, huh? Yeah, sure. Exciting? The Epic Win for Anonymous comes out on Thursday uh, in print and on ebook, iTunes, uh, Kindle, Nook. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting. I don't think the timing could be any better because Anonymous is just uh, pulling crazy shenanigans all over the place. So I feel really fortunate to be able to release a definitive statement at this time. What does the future hold for you now? Well, um, I'm possibly going to be working on another book, uh, potentially about this, this similar subject matter. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I'm, I do social media consulting. Uh, is there any thing on the horizon you see as disruptive? On, on the horizon is what? What's disruptive? Anything that your technology, community... I, I think that um, 4chan represents a... 4chan represents a, a... a strong influence of what I call the meme sphere in my book. And I think that a lot of brands are trying to figure out how to turn their intellectual property and make it mimetic. And it's similar to like the old Spice Guy which was just a TV ad that be became this viral phenomenon. And I think that uh, Fortune can teach a lot to people in advertising um, and creative agencies about how content moves on the web and how people will be glad to share your content if it's compelling to them. So I think that that's going to be the next big thing is like the memification of brands. We're going to see a lot more of that.